Oh, hello. How's it going today? Are you having problems with your computer? Do you want to upgrade your processor? Or do you just want to watch some fun tech tutorials on YouTube? Either way, I have what you need. Stay tuned while we get involved with unboxing the motherboard I have here, which is the Crosshair V Formula Z motherboard. And we're going to unbox it and then we're going to install it, also installing liquid cooling, a processor, and all the other components that come around the computer. Stay tuned. This is the FX8350. It's an AMD 8 core, the very first 8 core processor, um, native 8 core, and it runs at 4 hertz on uh, each single processing speed, and it's got a total of 6 megabytes of level catch. And basically, level 1, level 2 are 4 megabytes each, so that's a total of 8, and then level 3 is another 8 additionally. I'm not sure how good that is, but we're going to try it out and we'll see what, how it goes. It's the black edition, and the good thing about AMD is everything is unlocked. So, if you like unlocking and overclocking, this is the processor for you if you're on a price range. Other than that, um, I've seen people overclock it to 5.2 hertz and some even to 8.1 hertz. But that was with a crazy, you know, system with uh, high tech gear and it was huge. It had like a lot of coolers and a lot of power. So you can, I think you can get around the 4 hertz range if you have a good motherboard. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So. I'll go ahead and describe everything with it. Basically, it comes with the processor. It's a uh, one all-in-one right here. It's a uh, pin grid array PGA processor, and it fits any AM3 board. So any board that has an AMD processor that's an FX, you can take, it's backwards compatible. You can take that processor out, and you can put your AMD FX8350 or anything with FX will fit. It's an AM3 Plus, and it'll fit it. If not, you can refer to the manual that comes with your motherboard or with this to see if they will fit and, you know, check the compatibility. <laughs> and that, it comes with a heatsink fan, a stock one, and I've noticed this one's a little different um, than what I've seen on Newegg. They were showing me uh, some other stuff, and this is just one of the processors that, I mean, the heatsink fans that look a little different, and it's all one way. I, I saw one, I thought I was going to be getting one that goes both ways, but I guess this is for... Um, for I guess better direction, I'm not sure which version this is, but yeah, we'll be installing it and it comes with the, the custom thermal paste. I usually don't like to use this because I like to apply my own brand and I take that off, but because it is stock and because it is FX, I'm gonna trust the thermal paste with this and um, I guess we'll go ahead and get started. So if you're ready, we're gonna head over there and put the computer up. <clears throat> Basically, the case just pops off like so, goes down and you get into your, your um, Every, all, everything right here. Alright, here, um, where this fan is, this is where your processor will normally be. And in general, you know, modern boards, we're always going to have a processor with a heatsink fan because um, we're running really good on it. And basically, you're going to come in here and you have one cord to unhook first off, which is your fan power. And you just pull like so, give it a little wiggle, unplugs just like that. Then, You're going to go and pop this up. It's going to release the tension on your uh, on your heatsink fan, and you you can clip the latches over. There's one latch on each side. For me, I'm not sure what you have. My AMD board I mean, it has two latches, and one goes like this, and one goes like that. So just easily tap the levers up. This is like very easy, and just come directly up with it, and make sure no cords snag. And you'll come off. And there's your heat sink. There is your um, your uh, everything right there. So you get everything right there. You see it? Um, that's the residue. You can clean this off if you want to using some type of, um, like I said, uh, lighter fluid is really good. That's the one I was trying to remember. Lighter fluid or rubbing alcohol, and you can get that off. And I would actually clean the CPU before you take it off. I don't know why. Um, I've just always done it like that so <laughs> it's always new you know me and then um we um basically we'll take this out of here um and we're gonna basically be uh, taking off this uh residue on this processor as you can see it and what i'll be using is um two coffee filters which are really good i'd say two or three most be three if it's a really thick residue and I have here um, rubbing alcohol. You can use rubbing alcohol or you can use um, 
lighter fluid. Lighter fluid is a little bit more uh, concentrated, so it's going to be a little easier to get it off. So use what you will. And we we'll basically just take this, pour the rubbing alcohol onto the um, onto the coffee filter, and that's how it goes. Let it soak in a little bit. Uh, try not to get any on the board because it will mess the board up. Um, so just let it soak in, and you come down like so. Start rubbing it a little bit, and then um, you should be able to get it right off. And kind of wipe it a little bit. Get it all nice and clean. Might have some on the side, so you might have to go back and uh, get that up, vacuum it, you know, whatever uh, means of um, way to get all that extra residue off the side of the processor. And then after you're done and it's clean, you're just going to hit this little latch right here. And you can take this little uh, hand and you just pop it up. And when it gets to this point, basically what you're going to do is uh, you're going to hear a little click and it's going to pop the processor out. So you hear it pop, boom, right here. And then it goes about a little bit over 12 o'clock, about 1, almost 1230 on the degree factor. And the process should just come right out, zero insortion and zero, you know, take away weight. So you really don't do anything. And that's how you take out the processor. And it has little pins, so you, you will mess those up if you do this wrong. I promise you. And yeah, that's pretty much how you take out the processor. Now we're going to install the new processor. All right, everybody, now we're going to install the new processor. So we're going to go ahead and uh, take a processor box, unbox it. Another thing I forgot to mention in the beginning, which I guess is kind of bad, but it's not b very beneficial, but it, I mean, it is kind of consistent to computer tech installation of a CPU, is um, you can, after you um, turn on your PC, before like you want to take off the residue, you can um, turn on your PC for five to 10 minutes, let it heat up the, the previous processor you had installed. So it heats up the heat sink and it heats up the, uh, res the, uh, the, uh, the um, thermal paste. So basically, your thermal paste will be heated up, and you, it'll be nice and ready to go. So you can um, rub it off whenever you uninstall. And then also, whenever you turn off your PC, you hold down the power button, which takes any circuitry out of the board, so you won't short any parts out by touching things with negative or grounded uh, metal, and um, you won't uh, short anything out by actually touching it with rubbing alcohol if you do and stuff like that. All right, now I've got the processor here. You basically take this processor. Silver side is always up. You want to look on the corner of the processor and see there's a little triangle. There's a triangle that's etched in it, and if you can see that, that's going to go directly down. The gold pins are going to go down, and it's going to go directly down into the processor. And if you look on the board, I have marked on your and on your board too. If you're looking at this while you're looking at it, or while you're watching the video, it's going to have a, um, a etching. And you can see it kind of on the right side over here, and it's an etched triangle, and it's mine's white. So that's the side that you're going to set down the processor with the gold triangle accordingly. And that gold triangle is going to go this way, and the triangle matching, matching it's going to go to the same way. And you're going to just go down and drop the processor down square with everything, and it should just right slide in. There's no pushing, there's zero insertion, just a little bit with your, 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 um, your uh, index finger to see that it fits and then you're good and that's it all you do now is uh, click your latch knock your latch down click 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 and then one more click and it'll go behind the little lever it'll pop behind it and your process is installed good job now let's move on to the next thing is the heat sink fan heat sink fan comes pre applied with thermal paste so you do not have to use any thermal paste you can see it right here thermal paste already installed um, basically, there's no way to uh, 
install this wrong. There's only the good way, which is this way. And you can take it, and I prefer to install it with the handle side to the out, because if I need to reach something in the middle, I don't want to be having that, um, you know, uh, messing me up here. So then I'll go down, and I'll basically take this. I'll worry about the cord last, and we'll you're just going to flip this lever over, and it's going to come down. A little, It's a little stubborn, but it'll come down, and that'll be the install, and you will be installed. So... Yes, now you will be installed and ready to go with your new CPU. Mind the new boot in the BIOS and upgrade your BIOS because your BIOS is not going to be current with the newest CPU. Um, basically, I think that is all you need to know. Other than that, don't forget to plug in your fan cord <laughs> to one of the according fan uh, fan devices, fan uh, inputs, and you can put that anywhere. Um, basically, I would just install it where the other one was at. Also, if you're going to be doing any liquid cooling in the future, you're going to need to clean off the thermal paste off of the processor again. And um, do not overclock if you have one of these heatsink fans because the dry air not being liquid cooled will over, it, it will melt the, melt it onto the, onto the CPU and it will mess it up and it will fry it possibly. So I wouldn't do that. I've done that once or twice with my server. Other than that, this has been a tech tip from Sergeant Wade. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe for more.